Hello and welcome. I am Sanjay Chaturvedi. Today we are going to speak a very very important subject that what if there is an arbitration clause in the agreement for sale in your when you are purchasing a property usually there is an arbitration uh, clause. Before RERA it was in uh, state law like say MOFA or GOFA or you know GOFA these were where the uh, agreement for sale were actually uh, uh, was actually having one very specific clause that there is an arbitration if there is any conflict between the parties by the seller or the buyer then there may be that the parties will explore the arbitration and under the arbitration act now after the RERA which has come which has very specifically have inserted section 88 and section 89 <coughs> What section 88 says? Section 88 says that the RERA is in addition to and not in derogation with any other act and RERA will supersede the arbitration. This is what the gist of the talk today. So when there is an agreement for sale between the builder and the buyer and the agreement have very specifically have mentioned that there is an arbitration clause in the agreement for sale and there is a dispute. Now the builder had disputed, uh, defaulted in giving the position, the LOT has gone in RERA saying sir I am eligible for the delay interest and uh, some of the many matters where the RERA was said that yes there is an arbitration clause so why don't you go and explore this. The matter in uh, Maharashtra has gone to the appellate tribunal. The appellate tribunal in a matter of Mantri Dwelling Private Limited where the developer has gone to the tribunal and asked that whether the RERA has given uh, uh, refuse that there is an arbitration clause but then they are not given me any relief and RERA has refused that uh, the arbitration even if there is an arbitration clause then also the RERA will prevail over or supersede over the arbitration clause. So the developer has challenged the matter in RERA and in Mantri Dwelling uh, Private Limited versus Rajesh Saxena in the year 2000 uh 19 11th july 2019 maharashtra real estate appellate tribunal had given this verdict and i'll just read some one of or two paragraph of the uh, judgment where the judgment has actually categorically have repeated a verbatim clause of arbitration clause in the agreement for sale the le para 11th of the uh, judgment which has said that and they have just repeated the arbitration clause which says that as per the clause 59 of the registered agreement for sale dispute or differences arising between the parties with regard to any matter relating to the to or connected with the agreement of shall shall resolve by the arbitration by a sole arbitrator as per clause 60 of the agreement for sale subject to the arbitration clause as mentioned above civil courts in Pune alone uh, shall have jurisdiction to adjudicate upon any dispute between the parties regarding performance of their respective obligation under the terms. So this was the actually uh, agree, uh, the clause in the agreement for sale. Now uh, what very specifically the honorable tribunal has actually observed and given that that the RERA will prevail over the arbitration clause what the arbit uh, what the tribunal have said in para 12 as per the clause 60 of the agreement for sale the dispute regarding performance of respective obligations of the party shall have to be adjudicated in civil court at Pune clause 59 of the agreement for sale regarding arbitration per, uh, pertains to the dispute or difference with uh, regard to any matter relating to or connected with the agreement and not related to obligations of the parties the RERA Act 2016 is a special act what the, uh, the tribunal have said that it is an special act uh, uh, it is having overriding effects on the other acts as per section 89 of the RERA Act 
LOT have filed complaints under Section 31 of the RERA Act 2016 for the refund of the amount with interest including compensation. Arbitration clause in agreement for sale does not debar the LOT from the agitating their statutory right for the refund along with interest as provided under Section 18 of the RERA Act. It cannot be said that the complaint filed by the LOT under the RERA Act 2016 are not maintainable in view of arbitration clause in the agreement for sale. In the entire India where the uh, various state acts like Maharashtra Apartment and uh, Flat Act and Go uh, no, Gujarat or Goa or Karnataka or any other place where the state F act usually uh, gives such type of leverages for the arbitration previous to and prior to the RERA. But after the RERA have come, section 88 which very specifically have said that it is not in derogation to but it is in the uh, this. Now uh, this is the position is clear. Even if you are having an arbitration clause, you can absolutely go to RERA and file your complaint. I'll be covering in my other videos that whether the Surfacy Act, people have gone in DRT or whether they have gone in NCLT, whether they people have gone in the, uh, you know, uh, some other matter, then whether the RERA supersedes or no. So I'll be covering with landmark judgments of Supreme Courts and High Courts uh, in this. Be in touch and if at all you have some questions, you can always put the uh, questions in the uh, chat box or mail me to uh, editor at subtakala.com. I'll be much uh, happy to reply to you. Thank you very much for watching me.